That's first arc. It's Brian to throw first. So Keep away on. we go. Brian with the darts. Best of five for each leg and best of five for the match in terms of sets. So first to three. Interesting factoid that, John, about Johnny Haynes, because that was when I made my debut at the Reebok Stadium. He's 57 and you're not. I'm not. 100. 15 years is junior and always will be. <laughs> Johnny, who uh, 97. works as a full-time carer, is a carer for his wife, Kerry, who I'm sure back home will be watching and hoping that her man can produce the goods One tonight. 140. Johnny's a great guy. He always has been really nice around the darting circuit. He's got a lot of friends. He's the kind of person who crosses 16. a room to come and see how you are. That's the kind of bloke he is. Well, I've not uh, known him, obviously. I've not seen him play uh, here before. He's not played here before, at least not in the uh, not in the Lakeside World Championship. He did play in a John Smith's event uh, 10 years ago or so when the quarterfinal, semi-final was staged here. But, uh, you know, I mean, he, he, he doesn't really know me from Adam. But I, I walked through and he said, hello, John, how are you doing? That's you know, what he's you, like. You're warm 16. to people like that. Absolutely, he's a warm guy. And he's always got that cheeky smell on his face, just strutting around, hasn't got a care in the world. Haynes is on a finish. So is Roman now, though. One of the end, and Roman is quick. Johnny Roman is off a quick. Regular practice part partner of Dimitri Vandenberg, and he pays tribute to what Dimmy's done to help mould and shape his career and move him towards the professional game. 118. 118. Let's see if a bit of Vandenberg magic can rub off here. Needs a 60 still. Doesn't get there. 65. Johnny Uri requires 44. To go for the 25 with the last dart. Haynes needs tops. Yeah, and gets it. Sure than the first line. That's a break Johnny of throw. Haynes. Ideal start Second for Johnny Haynes. Johnny the throw first. That'll settle Keep him on. right down into this match. Lives in Swindon, Johnny. So if he's a punk and he's from Swindon, we're going to have to call him SM Punk. I know you don't like me talking about wrestling, John, but there is a very... I, I'm, I'm used to it. You, can, you, 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 you can't go more than a couple of legs before, without referring to this total sham of a sport, wrestling. Well, my favourite wrestler was called CM Punk, and he was from Chicago. Chicago made what punk. So Swindon made punk is Johnny Haynes. I'll let you have that one. That's, 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 actually, that's actually not bad. One of the end, 40. Beats your adulation of Hulk Hogan. Sixty. Johnny's always thrown with red flights as well. Every time I've seen him play, he's always had red flights. And certain players just have this affiliation with what they can see. Some players like 16. to have dark colored flights, dark colored stems because they don't want to see them in the board, but Johnny definitively wants to see where those flights are and use them as targets. Others have extraordinarily dodgy hats. Incidentally, the, on the back of his shirt, I don't know if we can 70. pick it up. But I you require 164. Well, we can if we just backed off there. We'll perhaps see it. There's a little message there where he says something about basically not being bad for a pub player. 92. Johnny, you require 138. He's more than just a pub player, that's for sure. 138. Not going to go. And Roman 44. looking to Brian break Uricoire straight back to 72. 72. Options here, maybe 16s or the 20s. That'll do for double six. Double three then. 69. So Johnny this Uricoire now. Well, Johnny's had the break. This is, a, this is a big visit for him early in the match, of course. But if he could take this out, that's a great first dart. Four for tops. Didn't look too happy about it, did he? Tops it is. 74. Only just only single. Three. Annoyed to have missed it. Double one. No score. Oh, well. Johnny Uricor, 20. Not the best result, and Johnny Haynes is fortunate yeah, to get that shot to go 2 up. Haynes. He will gobble up Third everything that's given to him. First. Game on. Brian Roman, who won the... English Open Championship, played at Selsey last year. BT and Jones in the final there. Ian's still in the competition here.
He'll be defending that title. Well, he won't be defending that title, really, because he's now with the PDC. The 94. title is due to be played again at uh, Burnham Pontins in July. You going down to that one? I'm not Whoa. sure. Oh, I might be. I'm eligible to play. Well, we'll see, but I might be busy in another part of England doing another tournament at that time. But it, you're absolutely right, John. Brian can't defend that title because he will be doing something else within the PDC system, I'm sure. And he's had a decent 57. start to the season. He's done quite well in the International Darts Open in East Germany. He made the final day on his European Tour debut. But it's just great that the WDF and the PDC came to the agreement to let these guys play it. I agree, I agree. I think that's very much to be welcomed. Well, he needed the bullseye there, Roman. Johnny Unicorn, now, Haynes, 167. This, OK, theoretically, but this is for the set. Can't finish now, though. Roman had trouble on the doubles in leg two as well. Johnny will be hoping that the same happens here. Yeah, he was trying to snarl over his shoulder. Double 16. Big dart. And he's taken it. And that's King Sean in the third leg. Brian Roman. Such a great he's one of the hardest chuckers of a dart I've ever seen. You look at his hair when he throws, it twitches. He's got so much hairspray in it. It barely moves, 14. but there's this little twitch because he throws them just so hard. Look how hard he throws them. Uh, I see the I see the hair there vibrating. The old 55. wind tunnel look. <laughs> Boing. I like a good quiff in darts. And of course, the last time this tournament was played at the O2, the quiff, Jim Williams made the final. Where he was defeated by Wayne Warren, who's arrived here and is in great form. 96. Life and soul of the party as ever, looking tanned, fit and healthy. Do you know it's his 60th birthday on Wednesday? Wow. And he looks great on it. He really does. Goes to show what a what working as a as a builder in a manual trade it keeps you young. He's always had a good time as Warren Boy, that's for sure. Well, that's the thing about being a roofer, isn't it? Yeah. Johnny Unicorn, one hundred and sixty-seven. The glares of the sun. He's had problems with a shoulder injury, though. He's had to have a painkilling injection prior to this. Haynes nicely poised here to take this leg, which would bring him this opening set, and it really has silenced Roman to a degree, but this is good. One of the new 40. Now, let's Johnny see if he can tidy up here. He needs to. There hey, he is. There, there he is. is. Victor's together. His ears yeah. must have been burning. 52. Johnny Haynes could have been the victor in set one, Unicorn, but he misses tops. Roman needs this 110 to stay alive. Down south. 51 for tops. Gets it. Tops. 70. Well, he's annoyed. I think he thought Jerry he'd done the hard part there. 20. And he expected that to go sailing in. So this is for the set. Double ten. Double five. Oh, he's gone two double four. Twelve. Oh, sorry about that. Brian he Unicorn split it, 40. got the two, and then switched up to double four and didn't get it. So tops again for Roman. Bit of a lifeline here in set one for Brian. Can he take advantage of it? Getting closer. Yeah, that's Very close the indeed. A little bit Very of a sigh enough. of relief there from the number one seed. One leg shootout for set one. Yeah, the first two weren't particularly uh, courageous, were Fifth they? Didn't go to it big time, but first. third one goes in there. And so now the deciding leg, Game the on. Belgian Roman, who's trailing on the averages, as you see, he has the darts. Yeah, Belgian darts is in a pretty good place at the minute, but... Throughout the course of darting history, Belgium have always had a good presence. Kim Hybrex, one of the best dart players that they've ever produced. Dimitri Vandenberg that you mentioned, but we can't talk about Belgian darts without Eric Claris. One of the best counters and the most puzzling user of the dartboard that maybe the world has ever seen. The spotter's 98. nightmare. <laughs> There's a few of those, aren't there? There's a few who have their idiosyncratic ways around the board. Do you know what Eric Claris used to do on? Uh, was it 102? He'd go three double 17s. <laughs> and on 96, he'd go Shanghai on 16s. Now, this leg what from Roman, phenomenal, considering what he's been through in this set. He should have lost it. Well, he's putting Haynes right under the cosh. 
and he's in a dominant position here. 100. One, two, four, up to nine. And now closing in, maybe on the set. Treble 18 would leave the bull, and he's not got that. So 56. Haynes breathes again, but he's way back. To stand any chance, he's got to get a 140 and hope that Roman misses the 68. The way 16. he's throwing now, you'd expect him to tidy this one up. This is for the opening set. Not taking long, has it? Even though it's gone to the decider. Double 16. Yeah, and there it is. That's what he can do. Set. That's Brian why Romano. he's the number one seed. And that's why he's ahead. Set Brian first Romano's arc is Johnny to throw first. Game on. So, it is the best of five. And Roman leads 1 0, the 25 59. year old. Do you know what we call him on tour? He's got an affectionate nickname. Um, are you sure this can go out on television? What are the new 40? Right, okay, yeah, go. We, we call him the noodle. The noodle? Yeah. Ramen noodle. Oh, dear. <laughs> you can blame Dan Dawson, yeah. one of our commentary colleagues. He came up with it. That is, uh, that is bonkers. 100. Brian doesn't mind it. He, he likes the comeback of the noodle nickname, but I think he prefers to just be called Brian. 81. Mm. One thing I do love about these Belgian dark players is that they, are, they all seem to have shirts that are reminiscent of the flag. They're very, very proud 16. of their nation. And look at where those shirts are there. They're the Belgian fans. Is that his dad there? He looks very much like him. I would assume so. Oh, that's excellent. Oh, no, no, no. Ironically, he holds his arms aloft. Oh, it's as if someone had scored a touchdown there, Johnny. One of the new 40. And you did. You Let's see if you can complete the extra points. 81 required. 16 for tops. 41. Oh, right, you require 61. Away. Brian can punish if he finds double 18. This yeah, is starting to work very well line. for the Belgian. He's extremely watchable. This is a very watchable game, I will say, because they're both very swift and very Second accurate. Is Brian Average is a decent. Game Brian 89, Haynes 86. And they're kind of upwardly mobile, particularly Brian Roman, who has started to move up One again. One of there's certainly a bit of uh, Dimitri Vandenberg about the throwing style. Yeah, it's very rigid. 95. Definitely to be admired. Doesn't mess around. I really like this guy. I think he's got a, a very good future. And the, the thing that puzzles me the most, maybe because of people like me who have been bigging up some other players, but not many people are talking about the number one seed to potentially win this. Oh, we've seen a few people who have thrown well here in the last day or two. One everybody's got 40. their ideas about who the favourites are. There's Ryan De Vreda. He's already through. We'll see more of him in the next couple of days. 100. Brian, you require 81. Brilliant, like this from Roman. Three 140s. Absolutely. Doesn't need to look at the 16 and bull route so he can... Amble towards 2 0 by leaving tops or double 18 in this case. I see a lot of people who prefer double 18, they leave 16. it all the time because Ryan it's such a lovely position 36. on the dartboard for them. So double 18 for 2 0. Oh dear, double 16. Great miss. Yeah, that's, uh, that tells you what your T thinks about it. Not impressed. Four. And can't get it. Yeah, right. Johnny Unicorn, 146. Is through to play Jules. Van Dongen, the Dutchman who's based over in the United States. 60. Correct, we saw Brian Unicorn. Jules a little bit 18. earlier in our programming. Yeah, big, big fella, isn't he? And charming. Double 16 for 2 0. Yeah, it's found. The second line. Starting to strut Brian here a little bit, Brian is. First this is good is stuff. To throw first. Game on. Yeah, Jules Van Dongen has something in common with Brian as well because they both have. PDC tour cards, and we've already seen one person ousted, of course, who has a card, and that was Connor Scott last night. That was a shock. Didn't yeah, didn't. 54. Uh, the man who beat him play well. Oh yeah, he really did. 
95. Connor Scott had been named by many as a potential winner, but Sean Burt, the very likable Canadian, who told me in no uncertain terms afterwards, I'm not just here to make up numbers. People don't know me, but I've played darts for 30 years and I can win this thing. Yeah, that's what John Parts said in 1994. And he did win it. He beat Bobby George in the final. Could history repeat itself? We have seen another Canadian in the final here, of course. It was Jeff Smith back in 2016 when he lost to Scott Waits. Haynes needs to get himself into this 81. game and pretty quickly or it's going to start to slide away rapidly can't afford to get his get his throw broken here and surrender this leg what goes two nil. for a second there John. Might be it. Johnny Haynes did not have to go bull 25 bull here but now he does have to go this way and he's not going to find it I saw him do that in practice when I was watching him earlier on he did precisely that shot 55. One of his mates had said, you're looking at the next 50. champion of the world. And I looked at him and he threw that and I thought, hmm, yeah, right, OK. Not a bad little barometer, that. Good stuff from Roman. 86. Now, Haynes, what got have you got Unicorn on 70? 70. Got to go this. Treble 18, he went for. Tops now. 50. Oh, he's not got Brian it. Unicorn 64. Just blocked our view of it by the flight of the earlier dart. Double 16. Yeah, and Roman punishes him. Second set. And that is Brilliant. the second set. 2 0. He's cruising and it's turning out to be a bad night for Haynes. That 64 out is the epitome of clinical. Third set, first Phenomenal line. stuff. First and I don't think on. I've seen a player look as confident on their debut in this tournament than Brian Roman is right now. Well, watching him and the way he's throwing, you'd suspect that there is very definitely another gear to come. If it's needed. Ah, sometimes you don't need it. I've just noticed as well that Johnny Haynes has coated his barrels in chalk. So if there are some white spots on that 20 segment, it's because Johnny has chalked up the barrels for extra grip. Well, he's at the stage where he's got to try anything because this 16. match is rapidly sliding away from him. I remember playing Keith Della when he used to do that. He used to annoy me. He used to choke on my darts. I hated the feeling of chalks on, on my barrels, but when he played Keith, he had to use something to get it off. I can't believe that Keith Della got under your skin. <laughs> Not the first. 16. He didn't do it on purpose. It was just so he could grip his darts better. I know he's watching every dart. What are they doing? 14. Oh, he's a dartaholic, as Keith. He loves a game of darts. Playing, exhibiting, watching, spotting. Talking about it. 41. Brian, you require 74. 20 for tops. 54. Not quite, just dragged it low. But he'll be back. He's getting too much time at the end of a leg, isn't he? Well, Johnny's just not scoring heavily enough now, is he? I mean, Roman has moved on from earlier in the match, and Johnny's not been able to go with him. Double ten. There you are, you see. I mean, that's the most hurtful double, isn't it, on the third dart? Johnny must be thinking, I've got, a, I've got a, bit of a bit of a glimmer here, 140, I'm going to get a go at this, and then in it goes. Yeah, it's called the Hope Buster. Because you think, oh, he's missed, he's missed, I'm going to get it, oh, no, he's hit it. Well, Haynes has hit the 180 to start leg two, but back comes Roman. Oh, oh don't you love it? Both of them smashing each other with perfection. Hello. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, I think we can, I think we can begin to start talking about it now. Can we? Well... We'll just leave it. We'll just leave it. 16. But now Johnny is three Johnny darts Unicorn away. 141. 141 required. And that is that. He got closer than Jared Cole did earlier. One Jared Cole hit a five on that attempt at the 60. But it's still a brilliant leg. And there's the respect that we all love to see on the hockey. 
261. He's way back. 100. Johnny Urico, so 41. Surely is not going to uh, not going to blow it after coming so close. Tops. Yeah, that's oh, game show. That you'd have hated to have seen that one Johnny go Hayes. the other way, wouldn't you? After third lack is six perfect darts. Game on. The funny thing for me, John, is that he hit that 41 checkout for a 12 dart or his best leg of the match. 16. And he's shaking his head. Well, he wanted the nine darter, didn't he? Well, he's a perfectionist, I guess, but still a great leg, John. You got yourself back in this set, and if the comeback is going to start, might as well start now. You haven't got much time to work with. Couldn't quite work out what that one said. 100. Possibly just as well. I think he was doing a Paul Hinks impression. Him one. <laughs> Paul Hinks, a referee 41. for those who don't know. Yeah, very good one too. A bit more intensity My about Brian seven. Roman right now. Oh, there's Suyoshi oh. with those lovely, I love those things. I can see you in one of those. I asked him at Alexandra Palace about four months ago, where do I get oh, a set of those? Oh, no. Meanwhile, another maximum from Haynes, who's, uh, well, he's in the last chance saloon, isn't he? And he's suddenly finding 41. darts, which he can be proud of. Darts that are going to worry his opponent. Single ones aren't going to do the job, but when he's finding the rescue dart like that, he's got to go south now. That's oh, really good. Great shot, Paul. Fabulous cover shot. And that really does put the pressure on Roman. Because he's two darts away 95. from making it 2 1 and leading 62. in this third set. Take this, this out. This is for a break. Yeah, take this out, and all of a sudden we've got a very different match. Double two. 60. Hang about. Right, you require 108. Well, this would hurt Haynes having dominated this particular leg. Tops. Oh. 68. No. I am so surprised Johnny he Ricard went that route. Two. Maybe that dart in the 57 just flattened out and he didn't like it. Madhouse, Haynes. Yeah, that's Not so mad now. Third Johnny Haynes. 2 1 he leads. Ford Lark is Johnny the 12 first. He Game has on. the darts now to claw back and take a set. The whole set format is beautiful. At this championship. What Johnny Haynes has got to do is win three mini matches. In the WDF circuit, there's a lot of best of five darts that go on. And when you play locally, there's a lot of best of five darts that go on in individual matches. So far in this mini match, Haynes is winning. If he can win it 3 2, then he's just got to win two more mini matches. One of them, well, peppering the treble 20 like that will certainly help. Roman's response, 93. well, I was going to say, not so clever, but then he gets that treble 18, which kind of got him out of trouble. Incredibly well versed in the ways of the dartboard. A player that is 10 years older than Luke Littler. Yes, I said 10 years old, older. He's 25. Luke Littler, who was a splendid a winner earlier 14. on today, a real name for the future. Looks as though he's a huge, huge talent. I did say to him afterwards, you know, I went and had a natter with him and I said, what, what do you do 59. about school? And he said, well, they just let me have the time off. He said, it's playing sport and they happen me, for me to go and do it because I do it well. 99. I wish I'd known that when I was 15. Perhaps you weren't playing as well as he was. I probably wasn't. In fact, I knew I wasn't. 26. He's clearly Ryan a terrific talent. 72. I think possibly a real chance of being a star in the future oh brian what have he just 36. done well that was a bit of a Johnny mess Uruguay, wasn't it yeah, i think he was going for the trouble 12 there on 52 that's the pitfall of it he really did not look good that one but he could dig himself out of jail if he finds double 18 with one of the three shots he's got coming 94. up 94. just as i him away without a care in the world anyway whatever he's on double 18 and this to make it two apiece. Yeah, that's Kim Shaw, the That's Ford the one he wants. Brian Amon. And there's his super fan enjoying Fifth the moment. Brian, throw first. Game on. I've been watching Jackie Gernthal's 
with celebrations like that for years. It still brings a smile to my face. He is one of the true, true characters of darts and a smashing blow. Well. Right. I always used to say that I wanted a partner in my life the way that Jackie looks at here at the Voss. <laughs> Well, perhaps uh, for the NBA, Jackie, if uh, you know, if he wants to be a partner. Well, he's the kind of person who go to the hill for you. That's for sure. 85. And to the hill we go in set three. One leg shootout. It could well be the point of no return for Haynes. If he doesn't find something sizable and he's getting it. One well, of the good. He'd have loved to have just squeezed that third treble 20 in, but wasn't to be. But he's given himself a chance. 40. I don't know about you, John, but I'm loving this game. I don't want it to end. It's brilliant. Haynes has got to take this leg to keep the match alive. And he's giving 40. himself every chance. Furious, he didn't get the maximum. 3 1 40, so leave 81. It's in his own control. And he's going to need it. Well, well can he do it? 81. This is for the set. He's gone the bull route. 31 remaining. 15 for double eight. And he, oh, I tell you what, he nearly put that in the treble and he's just 65. missed the double eight. I gasped when he went for that 15. I thought he was going to go for a seven for double 12. But now Roman's got a little bit of something to solve here. 91 for the match. Does he want the 51 or does he want the 25 route? Make up your mind and go. Okay, that's a 20, so 71. 59. Interesting, he went for 57 60. on 71. That would have left double seven. Double eight. Double four now. This is big. Got to get this. And he does. And that's King Shaw, the Good does. Well, Haynes. who'd second guess the mind of a punk? He went his own way. First game off. Smashed everywhere. Everybody was devastated. But now we think that picture is haunted. 45. Anyway, onto the darts. <laughs> Someone's tweeted me and said that Brian should be called Noodles, not the Noodle. What are the name? I don't think he wants to be called the Noodle in the first place. He wants to be called the winner of this match, and he was very close to winning it in three straight sets. But fair play to Johnny Haynes. He's Nine taken us into set four. Well, he's really battled well, hasn't he, to keep this match alive? How are the uh, how are the averages looking now? 89 for Roman, 87 for Haynes. They've gone up by a good two or three points over the last set and a bit. One of the good improvement from both players. Yeah, tight match. Roman can 41. throw very, very quickly, can't he? I don't know whether he's just taking a more measured approach. Try and get some rhythm back into his game. One of the That's good. 40. He played well earlier on. He's, he's behaving like the king of the castle now. 60. This is a great now first leg in this set for Roman. This is a number one seed styles scoring. That'll do. Very 49. nice. Sets it up. Doesn't make many errors when it comes to the tactics. But Roman obviously prefers double 16. 97. To but double top. 32. When he has a choice, double well, 16 it is. And here it is for the opening. Yeah, and it's been shown in the first throw. leg. Brian Abba. First Second blow in this. Brian what he first. hopes will be the last Keep set of the match goes to the Belgian. It's all well and good having fun up there, but there is a job to do. And there is a certain expectation that comes with being the number one seed. I 100. think ever since he won the England Open, there was expectation on him because that was a gold event in the WDF and it was an automatic invite to the WDF World Championship. And because of his ranking position, at the end of 2021, he was gifted that number one seeding. One other than 25. Needed some big numbers here. Pronto does Johnny Haynes. 100. One thing we should mention as well is that the return of the players to this arena has been very much welcome, but what not just the players, 40. but what about the referees? We're talking about mainstays here, like Marco Meyer on stage, Anthony Dundas, Geron Rodericks, 
having his first leg side here. 100. And Charlie Costerfield. All coming back to voice the numbers and keep the players in check. And doing a great job. He's a great uh, 25. fan, is our current referee, of what I have uh, playfully referred to as the Dutch disco crud that uh, some of the Dutch players One come onto the stage right, accompanied by. And he sort of said, do you mind? I rather like that. Well, you're in for a treat with Jules van Dongen, then. Yeah, make sure you're commentating on that one. Probably it makes Dirk van Dijvenbode's walk on music sound conservative. 83. Two nines left for Roman and Haynes might Johnny require go 60 or 19. Yeah, he's got a choice. Well, that's really tricky, but oh, not impossible. Dart. What a dart. Yeah, and what a check out. The second that second Johnny dart was Haynes. phenomenal. He got such a tiny target to go Third at. And then not the only first. gets it, but gets the double 18. That was a great moment. Wolfie said at the top of this game with our presenter Lindsay that. This guy's been around the block a few times, been there, done it, won the t-shirt, of course it is a punk t-shirt. But, when you're doing things like that and not reacting, it's as if he's done it every day for his life. It's an incredible shot, One that. 40. I'll tell you one thing as well, John, that really hurt. Brian Roman because he was sitting on double nine for a two nil lead. Yeah, I mean that was a that was a terrific checkout. That that treble twenty. You can't overstate how good that was. He's probably at best got about forty percent of the bed to aim at. One of their own forty. He's using those very light darts, and the deflections aren't as violent with the light darts. He's on to a finish. Annoyed that he was forty short of a maximum. That would have made it look a very much Johnny more Unicorn, inviting prospect. But nevertheless, not on a finish, Roman. So six from here for Haynes. 58. That's OK for now, as long as he takes the 100, because Roman is going to look at 105 plus here, wants to get it to two dart range. That's an aggressive 140. 140 and a brilliant Johnny one. So Haynes. Ton needed. Looking at the twenties, of course. Double ten. Oh, Martin. just the wrong side of the wire. Brian, you require oh, sixty-two. Brian Roman reap the benefits of that aggressive one forty. Well, that was a wide. I'm not even sure what he went for. Not at least sure. fifty-three. Let's look on the bright side, Brian. Fifty-three for the leg. He's going to go back to double 18, and it almost 44. worked out, but that double has cost him in this set. Well, that was that was bizarre. It Johnny almost Unicorn looked as though it was a miscount, but he just missed. I mean, he missed by a distance. Double four. Should be a marker. And it's yeah, worked yeah, for him. Yeah, yeah. Haynes ahead, 2-1. Four lagers, Brian is through first. Who was the guy Keep who sung on. that song, Times They Are A-Changing, because times they are a-changing in this match. It was a bloke called Bob Dylan. Heard of him? He was quite good, wasn't he? Oh, no, no, no. That was quite good as well. Good response. One of the new 40. The nine, though, from Roman. Haynes earlier on had six perfect darts. As far as Roman's concerned, it remains at just a three. 54. I'm not being biased or anything, but there we see the shirt. Not bad for a pub player. He's not bad for a pub player. He's more than a pub player. Isn't he? Yeah, I, I don't really know what that says about him. It's incredibly humble, but it says, he's, it says he's got a sense of humour. Yeah, Johnny has got a sense of humour. I suppose when hanging around with the likes of Dennis Smith, one of the greats of the Wiltshire game for many years, you've got to have a sense of humour with Den around. He's just such a lovely, funny guy. He's not well, out of this game 40. yet, Johnny Haynes, right now. Another break here, and the match is going to be level, and he's got 1-2-1, one, one, which is a very makeable checkout, whatever Roman does here. 100. Johnny, you require 121. 1-2-1. One, one. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Can Johnny make it look easy with 51 and bull? Oh, oh hello. It's the bull. Oh, you heard the wire clipped. 
That was a great effort. So 108. This to square up this set. Might have to get this one. That's a good dart. Single 19 for double 16 now. Yeah, Beautiful. that's Kim Shaw to the third that line. was quality. Brian. <laughs> I think you've been told, Brian. To I think it's fair to say people. that he's been told to come on. That was, oh dear. Those piercing eyes. I'm almost frightened of that lady. She's told him to behave himself quite a lot over the years. <laughs> she may well have done. Maybe if I had support like that, I'd have won a few more trophies. One of them, 40. It's if worked. He, if he wins this leg, he wins the match. Can Johnny Haynes extricate himself from this particular bit 16. of trouble yet again? Well, that's not helped a great deal. I remember what I said about a set ago that I didn't want this match to end. Roman wants it finished. One of this is good 40. stuff. He's put in so many good 140s in this match. He does not want to go to set five. 59. And he comes up dry in the search for trebles when he needed one. And now Roman can move it on to a finish. 221 he required. 91. And that treble certainly helps the cause. You use that word classy. That was a classy switch. So often neglected that treble 17. Very well One used. Hins in range, but not close enough. 13. 20. He needs the treble for the bull. Couldn't find it that time, 58. but Haynes not on a finish. Hmm, took those darts out with a bit of uh, intensity. Haynes has got to get something. He's found something. He's One found more. 35. Oh, this is very Brady precarious now. 72. Goodness me. This is tense. 72 for the match. 20 would leave double six. Oh, 12 for tops. 52. And he dragged it low. So a match start has Johnny been missed now. 66. He was very close to one in set three. He didn't get it. Double eight. Double four has been good to him. And it's yeah, good again. And we're going to set sets. five. The Johnny ultimate Haynes. survivor, Johnny Haynes, has denied Roman a win sets. by three first sets to one. And it's now first. down to one on. set only. Paul, what a dart that ball was. It was gutsy. Was it the right shot? It doesn't matter well, anymore, because he hit it. Well, despite it looking as though Roman was closing in on match victory, Johnny Haynes, the Swindon punk, well, still believes. 20. Somewhat defiant, okay. you could say. That's what a punk is. 92 average Roman. He went up by three. In the average in that 96. set, that means he was averaging mid 90s in that fourth set. It wasn't enough. He showed tremendous guts in this match, Johnny what Haynes. It turned out to be a real entertaining tussle to round off our evening's entertainment. I've got some bad news for you, John. We've got to lose one of these guys tonight. What a shame. Yeah, I'd, I'd second that one. Whoever. Whoever exits tonight, it's going to be a little bit of a shame to see them go. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That is most definitely not bad for a pub player. Absolutely right. And with Roman throwing first in this leg, this is a break opportunity in what is a best of five leg match now. There's the one. And there's the one of one. the first line. Johnny Haynes. In your face, Brian Roman, says Johnny Second Haynes. Is Johnny the that is a first. sickeningly good Demo. check out. Gives the crowd the full salute. And Roman just turns away as much as to say, how is this guy doing it? And look at this again. What are the new 40? Well, now Roman has to fight back. He's got to really show us what he's made of. One of this is 40. fast turning into the game of the tournament. I know that Warburton earlier, when he won by the odd leg in the first game of the day, that was brilliant. But this has got something else about it. 45. Well, it's come to a boil quite beautifully, hasn't it? And Roman would dearly love to break straight back. That's a bit of a blocker and can't find a way through. 60. Might have been 
well advised to switch there. Yeah, I think he was banking on smashing it past the blocker, but it didn't work out. 100. And Haynes puts his foot down a little bit, giving himself an 85 point advantage. Roman, a breakdown. That's good though. Digs in and gets himself onto a finish. Tall and short, the tall and short of it now is that he's got to win either three legs to one 60. or three legs to nil from here. That's tough against the Haynes, who's playing better now than he has all game. 161, he'll go for this if he gets the chance. Can't do it now. 137. Fabulous Jimmy setup. 156. 156 is not going to go. So Roman has no 100. outs left. This must be completed 24. for 1-1 and breaking back. Double 12. Yeah, one dot needed. Second Come on, he Third says. And they are now Third back absolutely level. But Roman has the darts with the break. Game on. If it goes all the way to 2-2, remember, it just carries on. And that leg is the one that decides it. And the man who starts will be the man who won the ball up before the match began. And that is Brian Roman, if it goes as far as that. If is the big word. It's not a very big word. Well, if we put it in capitals and bold, it's very apt. This is great. He's a first start merchant, is Brian Roman. When he gets it right, he really does double down well. That is brilliant scoring. Two 140s to start, leg three. Yeah, back-to-back -back 140s puts him in a, a dominant position 100. now. Good response from Haynes, but he's trailing by a distance, 81 points. He's playing like a player who just 57. refuses to be denied. Well, he could do with a ton 80 here, not coming. There's a questionable motive on Brian, the approach shot there from Haynes. He should have really used the 18s first, but... Because of that lack of tactical nous, he's given Roman six darts from 164, and he's made a bit of a mess of that visit. You can see what he thinks of it. Treble imperative. There's one. There's two, but it's not the right one. Well, you a horrible 20. number as well. 120. Can he smash through to the 60? Yes, he can. 80. That second dot was remarkable. Johnny, you require 190. It's a bit fortunate that it stayed there, to be quite honest. It could easily have wound up on the floor. Treble 20 for tops, not there. So Roman gets 59. another chance. Brian, you require 40. He was two sets to nil up. Could he, could he put himself yeah, two one? Yes, he can. He's line. in the lead again. He had a chance to Four win three sets to nil, first. didn't. Keep on. Had a chance to win three sets to one, didn't. Now has a chance to win three sets to two. What a game. The message there from his number one fan was, I think, something about focus. Get your mind right, concentrate. I think he's just got to continue what he's doing right now because the way he's brought the intensity, almost Kim Hybrecht style intensity, into this final set, it's working. He's winning. Well, this match almost deserves and merits a deciding leg, doesn't it? We could bookend the day with last leg deciders. Warburton with a 78 checkout and a 15 darter to win the last leg in the first game of the day. Are we going to go that distance once again? There's some nervous expressions from 83. the Belgian fans. And indeed, as well, from those who've made their way up from Swindon, because this can still go either way. 134. Great visit. As you were. Still advantage here, he has the darts, can he use them? Trebleless. And with a small number in there, it's advantage Belgium. Yeah, that is not what he wanted. He's not on a finish, and Roman most definitely will be. He's furious about that. Look at that. Giving himself a real talking to about that poor second dance. I'm not sure that came out of his hand right. He was quite fortunate. It hit 20. Those extra points that he's got from that single might be key. 126 for the win. Where have we seen that today? Luke Littler hit it. He'll be going Brian down, looking at 19s here for this 126. 
And he's got a seven. Would you believe it? 17. Well, that is Johnny a Unicorn, very potentially costly visit. Hugely costly. Is he going to give Johnny Haynes six starts and one five two? Let's find out. From one Johnny to Unicorn, six, he scored 17. Let's see what he's made of with this 109. This is for the match. Starts with a 20. And he can't do anything now, so 53. it is Haynes who's Johnny coming Unicorn, in, maybe 92. to square up, up once again. 67 remain. That's bull. That's yeah, it! That's, game short that's the amazing! It's Bay. one leg to decide the winner. We said we thought it deserved it, but that it's shot Brian from Haynes was epic. Game Paul, I told you when I was in the practice room, I saw him practicing that, precisely that sort of shot. Oh, oh boy! What a way to start that leg from Roman! Roman could be the man! Crowd's loving this one, who stayed right the way to what is going to be the final dart. 16. And is Brian Roman the number one seed going to emerge victorious? Or will Johnny Haynes, as so often before in this match, find a way? 58. When Warburton finished the one-leg shootout earlier against Dave Prince, I said at the start of the leg that 15 darts would be enough to win the match. 66. I'm going to say that once again. 15 darter from Roman wins it. Well... He's hit the channel 20 once again with that first dart and gives him the advantage. First one down to a finish after nine. Massively in front. He will expect to win now, but Haynes will not give up. 45. Brian you require 164. 43. Oh no, that last start was not what he wanted. Just makes things a bit more awkward when he comes back because here comes Haynes. He's not going to get on a finish, but he's well, getting closer. 40. He most definitely right, is. 121 then. Still got six darts from here. Treble 20 would leave double 18. This is for the match. Game. And he's nailed it. Shots. What an excellent game of darts. The celebrations are Belgian. The